Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to cook chili oil. Yes, today I am going to try to shogugeki laogan man again. So, for appropriate thunders, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so let's go. So first off, we're going to toast some peanuts which we will be using later. Then we will need to toast our spices. Here I have cinnamon, star anise, hua jiao, cardamom, ginger and sesame seeds. To which I'm going to add one part sesame oil and three parts cooking oil. Garlic and chili powder. And then cook that lightly, you don't want anything to burn so there should be only a slight simmering on the surface. After which we're going to add some spicy toban jiang and then let that sit for 4 hours minimum. After 4 hours, uh, sieve out the oil, leaving only the chili oil and heat that up. And then in another pot of dry ingredients, we're going to add our chili flakes, our hebi, our toasted peanuts. And then when the oil is hot, pour it into that pot for, uh, to scour the chili flakes for it to release that flavour. Then set it aside for the flavours uh, for at least 12 hours. So here I'm just going to do some very simple dumplings using mincemeat and prawn. And then as you can tell from the dumplings, I'm quite a sharpie at this. But the main point being that both chili oils will use the same dumpling. So I dressed it up with the respective chili oil and spring onions and it's time for the taste test. In what tree, right? You point to the chili oil that you prefer. One, two, So much. Anyway, I really did not expect in Lao Kun Ma here. Oh, one very important part was the heavy. Because uh, I grew up with heavy here, so it was just one of the inspiration for this recipe. This recipe was quite try hard. Spent a full day on it, so instead, much easier to just go and buy Lao Kun Ma from NTUC or something. But nevertheless, it was fun to make. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Like always, thanks for watching.